Uh, I know I sound like a broken record, but man, our fans, students, um, the legends weekend, having 30 former uh, players or managers, trainers, different people back. Uh, it, it was just uh, an awesome weekend. And, um, you know, they gave us a boost because we, we really lacked energy. Um, I can't tell you that I, I, I didn't see it coming because uh, I did and we were on them. And, uh, but this time of year, you got guys who are, and, and this is not an excuse, right? We had some guys who are under the weather, but Oklahoma State made us look even further under the weather with um, how they played, their energy, their togetherness. Uh, Mike's got those guys. I mean, they, it doesn't look like you can't look at their record and, and determine what kind of team they are. And I, I think this might be six games uh, that were less than five points that they could have won. You know, and so I mean, they they're right there, and they got young, talented dudes, and and so that I'm grateful for our fans. Uh, told our guys, man, uh, that um, when you live right, you try to do the right things, uh, you honor God, uh, God honors you, and and I just feel it's one of those nights where God uh, allowed a bank shot to go in, and um, and honored our guys to make some the right plays at the right time, and so so thankful to Him uh, for this blessing uh, to coach. Uh, be a, a steward of this program and uh, just so blessed to be here. Coach, through most of the first half, Arthur didn't have any points and then he scores the last 11 for your team in the first half, ends up being your leading scorer. Is he your most clutch player right now? Uh, I, I'm, I mean, Arthur's clutch. I think we got, I think we got several dudes who are clutch. I think what uh, what I, we, Arthur did at the end of the half was he stopped trying to just drive the ball or, or make plays for other people, which were leading to turnovers, and he just shot the ball. You know, I'm like, I just told him, just shoot, right? Like, don't turn it over. Don't try. Just you catch it, just shoot it. And I, I freed him up. He saw it go in, and then, uh, I mean, he was really good. Um. Is it a good sign that you guys seem to embrace kind of winning ugly all these weeks in a row? Um, well, I like the fact that we embrace winning, okay? Um, I'd, I've never really seen an ugly win. I've seen a lot of ugly losses, right? And uh, in this league, man, all you have to do is figure out how to win, right? And um, and we have a team. I don't, I don't think like, I mean, if we're all honest with ourselves and we look at our roster and stuff, we don't have a team that you think we're going to go out there and score 90 points and it's going to look really pretty and all of that. We have to make it like games like this and uh, where we get 10 steals and, you know, um, I mean, that's just, just what has to happen. And um, human nature takes over in situations like this where our guys even as much as we tell them and we show them and all that you know they look at the record they all of that and it, it all plays into it so i'm just thankful for winning man and uh we'll, we'll we'll figure out how to make it look cute some other time but right now let's let's just keep winning and uh what uh tom brought it up but will i guess now you guys are undefeated when he reaches double digits and scoring he said he, he wanted you to know that stat but what is it about it when he plays well the team seems to also succeed so tom wanted me to know that or will wanted me to know that will said make sure you know that stat as he walked yeah. out of here good uh, i i will make sure I, I i let will know that i know that stat and, uh, um so now we we, we will mcnair has been a, a blessing man and uh you know, I think and this is no knock on anybody else, but I think for the first time in his life, he's not just being allowed to be Will, right? Who Will, by human nature, wants to be, you know, show up when he wants to, you know, have an impact when he wants to, if he feels like it. And, and uh, our whole staff and his teammates are requiring him and holding him accountable to be the best version of himself. And, and it's, it's starting to show through in his play and uh, we were really upset with our guys early because they wouldn't let him touch the ball. He was open more times than he did early in the game and so um, you know I, I, I know Will uh, has and will continue to play a major role in us continuing to get better as a team and, and winning games. What makes Arthur so good right now? Um, well he can make shots right 
he can make shots. And the fact that he's shooting the three at such a high clip, like you have to respect that. And because you have to respect that, it makes him quicker. Right, so he shows the ball, defense raises up, now he's quick, he gets in lane, gets a dunk, you know, or you know, and, and then he's learning how to take advantage of the mismatches. So if they put a smaller guy on him, he had a couple times today where he was able to take advantage of that and and then um, our team together is collectively starting to understand where we can get some people. You know, and, and how we can put guys in situations where they can um, take advantage of those those things. And so uh, it, it's a collection of all things. But the fact that he can put that ball in the hole, that, that makes him super valuable. He was shooting hoops by himself six hours before tip off. What's that say about him? Um, that he cares, right? Like he wants to, I mean, he wants to be really good at this. And he's, I, I think uh, he really puts, invests a lot of time in his craft, right? And, and this week, you know, we asked the guys, like actually last couple of days is, uh, what are you doing that, um, that will give us and our team the best chance to, to, to get a W tonight, right? What are you doing in the bill? What, what extra are you doing? What is the thing that gives you your edge? And I think the fact that he is able to sp is spending so much more time in the gym, it's giving him this this edge that that he can take any shot at any time and it's going to go in. Cam had kind of struggled through the first half, but he heated up a little bit in the second half, and then you guys took the lead on that that inbounds play where he went up and, and got it and, and, and laid it in. What does it say about your guys' trust in him, and even when he is kind of having an off by standards night? by his standards that you're still like yes go you're the guy to get us get us to lead back and kind of get us moving well, i think it was the bank shot gave us the one point lead and then that under ob gave us a two point lead uh, if i'm right about that uh like you can't just judge like look at the stat sheet and say oh he's not having a good game we can't go to like you got to trust all the other things that have happened right and cam has this unique ability to like forget everything that's happened and just just move on and it's a blessing it's a curse as a coach sometimes right but it, it is a blessing for him because he doesn't remember his missed shots he doesn't remember the bad plays he's just like i'm gonna make the next play and um you know and, and he did I, i've heard you talk in, in using in different examples the, the the trust your trust your work that you put in, you know, we're not we're 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 we're, we're, we're effort based, not results based, and everything. How tough is that to kind of get that ingrained in a program and kind of override the human nature of of wanting to be results based? Um, well, I think it's if we didn't have the kind of guys, the kind of characters, right? Um, the guys who. Uh, the parents have done a great job of raising them and instilling some great values in them, and uh, then it would be difficult, right? Because um, they would just be thinking about instant gratification and those type of things. But these guys have seen their parents get up and go to work, you know, in, on cold days, on sick days, on you know, just they they've seen all the different sacrifice that's been made, and um, and so they have a resolve about them that that they want to help do something to honor their families, right? And, and so they, they're, they're open to us pouring into them as more than just basketball players. Because the, the trust your work thing is not about just basketball, right? It's about life, right? Like sometimes you go and you, you work really hard on a project and you present it to your boss and your boss decides to go with somebody else. And what do you do? You do you just pout and well, you just take the next project and you work with that you trust that you got better and you learn something from it. it's going to help you with the next thing and and these are the kind of lessons that we're really trying to teach our guys and then and then tasha's little playing time there in the second half was that just kind of a trying to inject some energy yeah we we, we needed some energy i thought this uh um coming into the game we said we'd go taj ahead of buddy um just if we needed it and and he did and, and he did exactly what we needed both press conferences this week, Arthur's come in here and after first Tyler and then Cam were asked a question that kind of revolved around some of the struggles of their game right now. He, without being prompted, stepped up and went to bat for those guys. 
Has there been a turning point or a change recently in terms of either him or other guys with leadership going to a new level this year? Um, yeah, there, there has. And, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy that um, they come here and y'all ask about struggles, right? And uh, what, what if we had made a whole, they'd made a whole bunch of shots and we lost the game, right? Would y'all be like, man, y'all are shooting really well, but you lost, right? Like, at the end of the day, are we not here about wins, right? Like, I mean, like, and so, I mean, I'm proud of him for defending his teammates, you know? I mean, the, the other team, they have a game plan, too. And Cam is at the top and TP's at the top. They were denying TP something. I mean, like, you know, and uh, so, you know, I, I just, I'm proud of uh, Arthur for doing that. We've, we've made the turn. You know, I told you we have this, uh, the analogy this year was of taking a piece of metal and forging it, uh, turn it into a weapon. And now I feel like we have a, a weapon Every guy is a weapon, but they're just not as sharp as they need to be. So now we're filing the weapon. And, you know, the Bible tells us that uh, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. It doesn't say one coach sharpens a player. It says a man sharpens another. And that's – I put it on them to help sharpen each other, hold them accountable, but then also, like, look out for them. And I think in the media, Art's done a great job of looking out for them. And in private, they've done a really good job of starting to hold each other accountable so it's not always coming from the coaches. You've talked about holding people accountable. So you're talking about holding Will accountable. Is there like a end game, not end game as much, but just a potential that you see with him that maybe he doesn't see for himself? Um, yeah, I think Will can be a dominant presence in games um, from time to time, he can make the other team double team him, right? And so you run ball screen offense, so they have to put two defenders on the ball, right? And then that creates an opening for somebody else. And that's from top down. But if you can throw the ball inside to someone and then they have to double put two people there, now you're getting to play inside out and those shots are a lot better, right? And so Will can be that kind of presence for us um, if he's focused and locked in. And so uh, we, we have certain things that we want him to do, and, like, he'll do it one time, and then sometimes he won't. He's getting better at it. He's building that consistency, and our job is to stay on him and not let him relax on it. And so he, he's going to be an integral. I mean, every guy on the team has something that they add to the team, and we just want him to do what they do best. Right. And and this is not just about Will being the best basketball player he can be. This is about Will being the best man he can be. He has to be learned like the consistency that he does here will will carry over into the rest of his life. And that's what I want. I want Will part of the, you know, 10, 15 years from now when the legends come back, that Will is coming back saying, man, this place made me into a better man. He went to the bench pretty early, I think, brought three guys in the first four minutes. Are you? Uh, was that more a reaction to how the game was going, or do you feel like you're starting to get more consistent performances from them? No, we've had last few days we got like three or four guys that are under the weather, and uh, they weren't. Some of them weren't able to go do much at practice, and you could see it on their face. I mean, if you know them, you know you can tell, and you know. Uh, and so it was like we got to rotate guys through in the first half so that they have some energy to finish the game. And so I thought Coach Marco did a great job of subbing. And uh, I think our young guys are, are, well, our starting five probably played less minutes in the first half other than Arthur than they had all season long. And that was on purpose. And so credit to Coach Marco for having the guys fresh to be able to finish the game. Coach, you guys won some non-conference games that maybe people thought you should have won by more. Is that experience now of playing and winning those close games paying off in Big 12 play? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. that um, If you win those games by 20 or 30, you don't get a chance to um, build a confidence. Me and them and them and us as a staff, you know, and, and figuring some things out. And so, yeah, it, that, that was a huge blessing in high sight. Day day all good, back to 100% after missing two games, or is he going to take him a game or two to, to ease back in? No, he, he's good. He's moving laterally. 
and that was the big thing. Whenever you have an ankle tweak, it's always about can you plant and cut. And I mean, you're usually good running up and down, but it's the lateral movement, and he looked good tonight. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, fellas. Thanks. Be safe out there. It's kind of cold.